battery packs they have made by Nightcore. Move, 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 move. God, what the f dude? Man. Front porch review. So guys, this is Jake with Tan Tattoo coming at you with another special front porch review. Well, we're not reviewing the porch, but we're doing a review on the porch. We are looking at the Cloud Defensive Rhine 2.0. To be honest, I actually don't know what Rhine stands for. I tried looking it up, couldn't find it right off the top here. But this is their weapon mounted duty light. Runs off of a single rechargeable lithium ion battery. Thankfully, they give you the charger for that. As the sun begins to set here, we're getting ready to test it out and compare it to a couple of other different lights to see really how well this particular weapon light does to some of his competitors. Now, while we do still have some daylight available to us, I'll go ahead and give you some information about this particular light. It does come in roughly about $379.99, so it's not a cheap light by any means. However, with that, you do get some very good quality high lumens as well as extremely high candela. Now, how much candela and lumens do you actually get? Well, you get 71,000 candela and 1100 lumens. If you're kind of into flashlights, you'll know that lumens defines how bright your light is. So if you're really into flashlights, then you'll know that candela is how much throw, how much punching power, and how much it will illuminate at a distance. You can have all kinds of lumens, but if you don't have a high level candela, it's not gonna really be effective at medium to longer ranges. I'm really excited to try this light out to see how it does compared to other popular flashlights, including Olaf because we all know that Olight has a lot of lumens, but my understanding is apparently it's not so great with Candela. Today we're going to see on 10 Tactical. Now with the Ryan 2.0, it does have a reduced diameter by about 15%. So with this reduced flashlight head, it can sit a little bit more snug to the actual rail itself and not really obstruct whatever you're looking at. In addition, it does have already a tail light here. The button without their logo is actually going to be a press to hold and this one right here with the logo actually toggles the light on and off. As far as the runtime goes, if you're using an 18650 lithium ion battery, it's supposed to be up to 150 minutes. However, if you're using a smaller battery, the 18350, then you're going to get closer to about an hour. There's only like one or two kinds of batteries that they actually want you to use or else you actually will void your warranties. They do not want CR123 batteries in this thing at all. Now, just like their other products, you can swap out the head for different flashlight heads that they offer. This comes with the MCH High Candela head. However, if you want, you can swap it out for their everyday carry head, which offers you more lumens, but less candela. Now they do offer this in a full size and a micro. The full size comes in roughly about six inches. <laughs> Giggity. And the micro comes in at roughly four and three quarters of an inch. This one is the full size. The switch is now far easier to activate and they still have negligent discharge protection as well to keep everybody safe. On top of that, my understanding is they are gonna offer additional switch options as we go further into 2022. So this thing's supposed to be shockproof, wireproof, dustproof, and everything you can think of. It's basically supposed to be the most durable light yet. Now, I'm not going to be banging this thing up because I did pay for this with my own money. But I'm going to take their word for it because I did pay quite a bit of money. And those people out there that have done those tests, apparently they've not had any issues. So now the sun's beginning to set, I'm going to come out, out here when it gets completely dark. And we will try this light out and compare it to a few other flashlights that are on the market. Today on Teen Tactical, my goal is to really demonstrate the importance of candela and lumens versus just having high lumens. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference on camera, but I'll try to be honest with you as always and let you know what I see with my naked eye as well. All right, guys, so for this demonstration to show off the difference between Cloud Defensive and a few other competitors, I've got the Olight Odin full-size weapon mount light, and I also have the Streamlight HL1, which is a handheld light, but could also be very easily used as a weapon light if you just got the proper gear to mount it with. So first off, this is the Streamlight. You'll see it seems uh, 
seems okay. You know, you can kind of make out just past the big tree there. You can kind of see the, the bushes right there a little bit. And you can kind of see there is some sort of floral arrangement out there, but you can't really see much past that. I can see that there is, it looks kind of like a vertical pole out there way past that, but you probably can't see that on camera. Next we have the Olight Odin, which is Olight's full size weapon mounted light. And you're gonna see quite a difference. So right there, it's definitely brighter. You can definitely see a lot more light. Even though you have all kinds of lumens, it is spilling out all over the place. It's almost like you've just got a giant floodlight cast all over everything. It's not really concentrated on a single area. Now, the camera does a pretty good job of showing this. You can kind of see it looks like a big haze out there just a big cloudy haze with all the humidity you can see the pole just past the floral bushes out there and you can't really see beyond that and with the naked eye or on camera now the cloud defensive rhine 2 so it's a much more narrow beam but way more concentrated to really punch out there so you can see all the details of those floral bushes there you can see everything very clearly it's very bright you see the pole way back there that I was talking about? Pole or tree, I can't quite tell what that is. On the camera, I think you can even make out some details of the trees just past that. Now, those trees are about 200 yards, roughly. The pole's roughly about 150. And the bushes here, the floral bushes, those are roughly about 100 yards. Obviously, this pole right here is really close to me. That thing is just lit up like crazy. You can see it's not really getting caught up in the moisture in the air, so good on them for that. So this is very important whenever you're dealing with identifying targets out in the distance like this. So the uh, Rhine 2.0, I have to say, has definitely proven to be significantly better quality than other lights that we tested. Much better than the O light. Way, way better than the stream light that we use as well. Would I recommend this light? absolutely now granted it is kind of expensive it's definitely on the higher end of what you can pay for for a weapon mount light but just the quality of what you actually get out of it the camera doesn't even really do it justice because the quality of what you actually get out of the light is phenomenal it's without a doubt the best light i've ever used guys if you enjoy this kind of content make sure to like subscribe comment down below did you pick up one of these cloud defensive lights i'd love to hear from you we will see you next time thank you for subscribing and we hope to bring you more good things soon <laughs>